There's an athlete out there named Matthew Bowling. Y'all might know about him. Y'all might not know about him. His name is Matthew Bowling. And a lot of people look at him as the white milk equivalent to Abby Steiner. He, he, he comes in right now and he could probably get a $2 million contract just like Abby Steiner. Because he's a Caucasian track runner, sprinter. Who could bring in audiences that hasn't been in the sport for a while? I just I just made a video about that, talking about Abby Steiner being the face of USA Track and Field, and stated my reasons why she's going to be the face. Now, again, outside of their skin color, do they do anything different from anybody else? Probably no, but the skin color matters to a lot of people in the country. First of all, it comes with relatability. If you see someone that looks like you. You're going to want to run, right? You're going to be inspired to run. You'll see that you can make it out there. If this white girl can make it, this white boy can make it, I can make it too. Unfortunately, in in the sport track and field, outside of just really within America, there's just not too many white sprinters in there. You know what I'm saying? Jenna Prandini was really the only one before Abby Steiner got in here, you know, as far as uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this generation of athletes. And right now on the American side, we really don't have like that, 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 that white guy who's running track, you know, yeah. in order to find those type of guys, you have to go overseas to Europe. You know, you really don't have that different, you know, you have mixed breeds, but do you really have anyone who's pure white like Matthew Bowling is? And Matthew Bowling is just like Abby Steiner. He could bring in a whole different crowd. Uh, another thing I bought it is, see, I'm not going to make this video too long because I've talked about a lot of the stuff that makes it where, so you guys just have to check out that video, but Matthew Bolin is basically, if he's ever great like Larry Bird, he's basically Larry Bird. He's going to be able to bring in an audience that hasn't been really watching the sport. And that's why I say he comes in today, the second, the second most marketable athlete. He can actually surpass, if he actually becomes really great, he can actually surpass Abby Steiner. Because just by him being a male, the, the focus on track is still the male athletes. But what's happening is, is I, I actually think in track and field right now, I think the females are getting more attention than the males right now. To be honest with y'all. I think, I think a lot of people respect what the Jamaicans have done for the females in track. And I think it's opened up a lot of doors to this recognition 
the, the females. Uh, the female relay team for the 4x400 closed the night for NBC last week, last Sunday night. They closed the, bro they closed the broadcast. The woman 4x400 event closed the broadcast. <laughs> That's crazy, right? So it tells you where a woman's track and field is going, but I still kind of feel like if Matthew, Matthew Boland is anything, he's got a chance to be, to have a very, very positive effect on track and field. Very positive effect. And I think track and field needs him and Abby Steiner at the same time. Imagine, I mean, they're basically about the same age. So he will probably turn pro next year after the, this last college season he's going to have. And this last collegiate season. And he's going to come right in. And if he makes any noise at nationals like Abby did this past year, guess what? Not only is my channel going to be talking about him a lot, a lot of other channels are going to be talking about him a lot. It's just the way it is. It's not, it's got nothing. To, I mean, the black athletes, it's, it's got nothing to do with them. It's just when the minority in any sport excels, they're going to get all the attention. We see it even with the blacks. Tiger Woods in golf, Serena Williams in tennis. You know what I mean? So when you have great athletes like that, they get, they're, going to, they're, going to get the, they're going to get the attention. In the NFL right now, when you have a great white quarterback, they're going to get the attention. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, for example. They're going to get all the massive attention that they're going to get. Black quarterbacks will get it too, but the thing is, if they get, if you get a Tom Brady in the sport, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Because they're the minority in the NFL. The NFL is 70% black. But quarterbacks are still sort of a taboo thing in the quarterback and for blacks. But it's way less now because there's a lot more black quarterbacks than it used to be. But especially when Warren Moon was playing, it was very taboo back then. Doug Johnson, all these other guys, you know what I'm saying? So it's a taboo thing. That's why I bought up Larry Bird because you saw what he did for the NBA. Not so much as magic, but what he did for the NBA in the 80s, coming out of a bad era that they had in the 70s with the coke, the coke and all that stuff that was going on. So, Matthew Bowling could really put this shit on the map. Now, I'm going to make another video about Matthew Bowling, and uh, actually my boy Everything, Everything Track actually covered this in his video. So, I, I definitely uh, tell you guys to go over there and, and listen to it. I'm going to get my quick thoughts on it as well about what Matthew Bowling needs to do because I'm going to start covering Matthew Bowling quite a bit on this channel. I want to give him a little bit more attention in his college season. I didn't get a chance to cover the college season like that on this channel. I only was able to cover the finals. But now that I could cover it from the beginning to the end, we're going to start with the indoor season and we're going to go all the way from there. I'm going to really start covering the college track a lot more. And Matthew Bowling is going to be the main guy that you're going to hear a lot from in that order. So... Going ahead to get this video a like, man. I'll be doing more videos about like, about the importance of Matthew Bowling and track and field. This is just part one, to be honest with y'all. Just a little taste of what's to come. But get this video a like, hit that like button for me, share the video, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got on this, definitely put them below. If you haven't heard of Matthew Bowling, I definitely suggest you look up his highlights. I don't think he's as good as Abby Steiner, to be honest, but I think he could get there, though, because he does have the talent. He needs to be trained up, though. But he can get there, though. But uh, also, if you want to donate to the channel, hit that super thanks button below. Uh, so on this channel, we've done a lot of Abby Steiner videos. I'm going to be doing another Matthew Bowling video, like I said. Those are going to be two of the main athletes that I cover on this channel because I feel like they're really important to the sport. And I want to give them as much coverage as possible before they become great. All right? Before they become great, I want to give them as much coverage as possible. You know what I'm saying on this channel. That's my goal. That's my end goal. All right. So thank you guys for watching. After news, the light.